Good morning and welcome to the video for Wednesday, May the 6th for 6th grade. This is going to cover the homework from our lesson, Working with Outliers. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. Again, I'm doing all of the homework problems, uh, even though Risen Christ students, you were only assigned the even numbers. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. So <clears throat> first of all, for this one, we want to go ahead and identify what the outlier is. That should be 100. And so since that number is higher than the rest of our numbers, that is going to increase the mean. So the mean is going to go up. The median in this case, um, if we were starting from uh, smallest to largest, we would go 10 to 15 to 17 to 20, which would have been our median before. Um, with eight, we would take our uh, fourth and fifth ones and average those together. So we would still have uh, one, two, three. Here's our fourth one and here's our fifth one. So the median is actually going to stay the same because both of our values um, here in the middle um, are the same number. So we're not going to have any change there. Uh, number three, we have a science quiz. Our outlier is going to be 60, which is lower than um, the rest of our numbers. So that is going to lower the average uh, or mean. And then the median, I have issues with writing, sorry, um, is going to be different as well. So beforehand, we would have had um, this be our first number and then our middle numbers would be 94 and 95. So we would go from 94.5 down to um, 94 because we would go 60, 91, 94. So that one is also uh, being lowered. Uh, number four, uh, the number of people who attended an art conference for five days, um, 96 is going to be our outlier. Uh, so that's going to be larger, which is going to raise the mean. Our median is going to be um, changing as well. So our median originally uh, would have been uh, somewhere in between 35 and 39. So we would go from 37. And now our third and center number would be 39. So again, both of those things are going to increase. So for number five, I give you a set of data that has two different outliers. So um, I did this on purpose. Um, I, they just want you to give one outlier. So if we make the outlier lower, so I'm going from one to 25, and that's supposed to be a comma, and then 30, 35, and 40. So my numbers that are normal fall in this range here. And so if we have an outlier that's lower, that would lower our mean. And in this case, it would also change our median. So that would change our median from 32.5 down to 30. If this one didn't exist and we put this in as our outlier, then that would increase our um, mean. And then our median would switch to being um, between, uh, excuse me, uh, would switch to being uh, 35, sorry, because we would go 25, 30, 35. Um, so depending on which way you go, it's going to follow a predictable pattern. I was trying to figure out if there was a way that we could have a number that was higher or lower, but have, it have an opposite effect on the median. And I don't think that's actually possible. It's either going to increase the same direction as the mean will increase, or it will stay the same. Uh, number one, our outlier for this particular set of data is going to be 77. So I'm just going to go ahead and circle that real quick. And then um, on the lesson video, I went ahead and put everything in order. Uh, so our outlier is going to be 15. How does that change the median? Well, the median is now going to be 52. Whereas before it would have been a average of 52 plus 55 uh, divided by two. So we would be looking at uh, 53 and a half and it went down to 52. So this lowered the median uh, for that. Number four, I went ahead and wrote the work in. So we are working 
um, with finding the measurements of the three faces here. They already gave us the base is 28 square feet, so we'll add that in at the end. So we're going to be doing one half of the base of um, the of this measure times the height. Um, so I just chose the height to go first. Um, so I reduce that to uh, seven times eight, which gives me 56. We have three of those faces, and that will give us 168. 168 plus 28 gives us 196 uh, square inches. So number four, how many observations? We can just count by twos going across this way, and that would give us 14. Number five, um, what I did was I took my color uh, pen writing options and put dots in. And so um, I have not included dots for 15 through 19. We have one, two, three, four of those. Um, and so our largest section would be five for the five through nine. And so we, our longest or our longest bar, the height would be five. And our last one, uh, let me scoot this over, make sure my face isn't in the way. Uh, Sharon has six photo files, and so our median, we're looking at adding these two numbers together and then dividing by two, and that should give us 82.5. So those are the homework problems for today. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom, or uh, if you are not one of my normal students, please ask your uh, classroom teacher uh, for assistance on anything that you may still need help with. So um, I'll have a new lesson video on Thursday, so hope you have a good day, and I will see you tomorrow.